This content may have scenes of violence, butchering of mutated creatures, and drug use. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Stalkers. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install and set up a reshade. Don't know what a reshade is? It's basically a plugin that you put inside your game to improve the graphics. There are many reshades out there that you can download for free. Many have different effects that you can use to improve the quality of your game. Whether it's just adding a bit more color, adding some HDR or bloom effects to make your game look like Tarkov. But for me personally, I like to use the HDR effects, rebalance some of the colors. Then I make the reshade take over the anti-aliasing to make my game look extra crispy. So this is how the reshade looks like once you unzip it somewhere in your uh, computer basically have the reshade shaders here you also have like a texture folder those are for some effects you don't want to touch them you also have the two plugins here this is these are basically the two uh, direct x plugins for the reshade and then we have some ini files here and uh, some of them these two here they hold uh, settings for the uh, reshade and how the reshade is gonna look on your uh, Stalker Anomaly for example and this one is actually the uh, program itself so yeah so you don't want you don't want to touch any of these files so you want to copy these when I go to your Stalker Anomaly folder and you want to go inside bin folder this is where your uh, Stalker Anomaly exe files are present you want to paste this and that's how you want to paste them basically. So make sure to open up a stock normally launcher and make sure that the reshade that you have is the same DirectX as the uh, DirectX that you're using for the game. For example, if you downloaded the reshade for DirectX 11, but you're running the game in DirectX 10, it's gonna probably crash your game. So be careful. I have DirectX 11 and my reshade is DirectX 11, so I shouldn't have any problems. It's gonna load. When, when it loads on top, you'll see that the reshade is working. If I press home, it will kick the uh, menu and you can actually see all the effects that this reshade have. And then you can just enable them or disable them. Make sure that you're in game first because can't really see these effects inside the menu so for me actually I like to use SMAA which is a type of uh, anti-aliasing then I use HDR DPX makes the picture a bit more dark you can see or bright you can set it how you like and then I use some bloom just a little bit of bloom here and the order of these can actually affect the way the uh, picture looks, for example, right? If I look here, if I grab this bloom and I put it up here, it makes the bloom a bit more strong. So I'll I'll put it just under the HDR, and as you can see, it makes a huge difference there. And you can pretty much set all these values yourself basically usually when I take a screenshot right I'll use uh, these then I'll use bloom then I'll also use for example depth of field and that will make the game look like this if I look somewhere that will create this effect be nice 
can see and it's still smooth i mean i don't play like this usually because you know you know i want to see what's going on in front of me but this is really great also for uh, screenshots Okay, let's take a look at some uh, before and afters with the reshade and without the reshade. The difference can be quite huge, depending how many effects you use and how you use them. Well, I hope you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and I'll see you for other guides on Stalker Anomaly.